Hey YouTube, how's it going? So this video was inspired by a podcast I was recently interviewed for. And uh, my buddy Rob Jones, who lives in Seattle, uh, does this amazing and very informative podcast called Rockstar Superhero. And it can be found at rockstarsuperhero.com. Highly, highly recommended. Uh, a lot of good information there, and I was honored when he asked me to uh, be part of this. And Rob is a coaster enthusiast I've known for a few years, and we have a, a shared hobby in music and a couple other things. And uh, he just wanted to, to hear my story. And, and during this podcast, we talked about so many different types of things. I mean, sometimes it got emotional. Um, there were some heavy moments at times, uh, some uh, very, very powerful topics. But um, I couldn't be happier um, when I listened to it this morning. And it's actually uh, podcast number 14, if you're interested in, in checking out. Please, please, please do, because it's uh, a lot of good stuff there. And uh, Rob's a great, great, great guy. And I'll put some links in the description below so you can find it a little bit easier. And uh, just go check it out. It's, it would be awesome if you did. And if you want to learn more about me and more, learn more about Rob and what he is doing, that's the perfect way to, uh, to check find out about us so um, good stuff so one of the topics that Rob and I were talking about was music and we both are big rock and metal fans and one of the bands that's easily it's probably actually it's my favorite band in the world and that's the band Kings X I've been a fan of them since 1990 I've seen them probably over 20 times and Rob is fortunate enough to be in a band that actually got to open for King's X back in the day. So I'm extremely jealous about that. So, but great job, Rob. So it, after doing the podcast, it got me uh, thinking that, you know, I, I'd be kind of fun to tell a, a King's X story. Now, um, King's X is a band that a lot of musicians, a lot of rock musicians, a lot of metal musicians kind of look up to. They didn't really uh, break the mainstream, so to speak, but uh, the, the people they've touched, including myself, as far as their music goes, is uh, unmatched. They're just, they're a they're very, very important band in the rock history. And last week, I got the chance to see them live in Dayton, Ohio, and the band doesn't tour a whole lot anymore, uh, as far as like a big lengthy tour. So anytime I have the chance to go see them, it's, it's a special moment. So I went out there with my friends Paul and Josh, and we met up with my friend Maria. Now Maria has gone to more King's X shows than anybody pr that I know, maybe anybody ever, I don't know. Um, I actually got to meet her at a Pantera show back in 92 or 93. And we've been really, really good friends since. So uh, she went to the show, we met up with her in Dayton, and um, just had a great, great time at the show. The, the, the band was performing excellent as always. And after the show, we went um, to the merch table where they were sitting and you know, you can get autographs signed and get your picture taken with them. So uh, the whole group I was with, we ended up doing that and just getting to talk with the band for a little bit and really, really cool moment. But there's one particular moment that really stands out for me in my history with King's X. And that is a few years ago, I was down in Houston for work with the Eyes of Freedom. Just by chance, King's X was playing in Houston one of the nights that I was there. So I ended up going to the show, having an amazing time. But before the show, uh, Maria took me into the venue and introduced me to Doug. He was looking to go get some dinner. It was one of those cool moments where I was like, oh my gosh, this is, is this really happening? I mean, he's driving us to dinner and, and all that. And it was one of the few times where um, I thought it was my chance to kind of give back to everything that King's X has done for me. I mean, they've taught me melody, they've taught me harmonies, they've taught me different tunings on guitar. So I've looked at music totally different after um, listening to them for the first time and really getting into them. So I was able to actually buy Doug his dinner that night, which, you know, it wasn't a lot of money, but it was my way of kind of giving back and saying thank you for all the years of, uh, you know, not only getting me through maybe some tough times, but inspiring me to create. Uh, musically and just open up a whole new world for me. So that was a really, really special moment and uh, I, I won't forget it. So seeing them in Dayton last week uh, just brought back a lot of memories of all the shows I've been to see that band. Um, if you have not checked them out, what are you waiting for? Please, please do. And also, once again, check out that Rockstar Superhero podcast. Um, out of all the interviews I've ever done, 
uh, whether that be through the roller coaster stuff or through the Eyes of Freedom. This was the most fun I've ever had in an interview. Um, it was a two, uh, over two hours long, but it just flew by. So if you have some extra time, if you have a lengthy drive, and you want something to listen to, fire up uh, Rob's podcast, because uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed, because I know I'm not. So that about does it for this video. Uh, thanks for checking it out, and maybe I'll share some more stories here uh, soon. You never know. Till then, take it easy.